What type of a person are you? Are you a good person? Are you kind hearted? Do you reach out to the creatures of Allah? We read about someone kind to a dog earned paradise. Someone decent to a cat earned paradise and forgiveness. Someone who was good to other human beings earned paradise. But what are we? We swear, we abuse, we deceive, we, we do so many wrong things. We cheat, we steal, we lie. What else do we do? And then you say, oh Allah grant me Jannah without reckoning. Even if you were kind to a dog, you'd stand a better chance. May Allah Almighty grant us goodness. This is based on hadith. So amongst us, how are we? People watch us today as Muslims from all over the world. And they look at Islam as a very bad religion. Do you know Islam is the most scrutinized face on earth, faith on earth? Islam is definitely the most scrutinized faith on earth. Nobody has ever studied Christianity or Judaism as much as Islam is being studied by the whole world. Nobody has ever studied Christian. Even the Christians have not read the Bible. Do you know that? 99% of them have never read it cover to cover, including some of the priests and rabbis or whoever else it may be. But Islam scrutinized. You walk down the road, the fact that you look like a Muslim, tough luck. You just look like them. It's okay. You're already from among them. By whose gauge? The gauge of those who are just looking. Everything about Islam. I was surprised. Someone said, oh, you know, this term means this and that term means that and they were so wrong and I'm thinking to myself look at how they're looking at Islam they're studying it so hard so hard may Allah guide all of us to the straight path it's a beautiful faith far from terrorism and extremism far from the hurt and hate that people accuse us of it's actually so amazing the care not just for one another but for other creatures of Allah taught in our faith is unmatched I've come across words in the Torah and Talmud, in the Bible, in the Bhagwat Gaitas and whatever else there is that are so derogatory, so demeaning, so filled with hurt and hate. But no one reads that. No one scrutinizes it. No one goes to the churches and starts checking what the priests are saying because they're not interested. It's not a growing faith. It's a dying faith. But they will come to Islam and study the way you were breathing in the masjid. That's a good thing, man. Come and notice how we breathe. Do you know how the Sunnah is to breathe? Subhanallah. Notice how we eat. Notice what we eat. Notice how much we eat. Because all of that is the power of worship. It's an act of worship. When you eat, you say Bismillah. You're eating pure, you're eating clean, you earned halal, you didn't cheat anyone, you didn't deceive anyone, you didn't harm the animal, and you made sure that whatever you did was to the right quantity, the third, the third, the third, you know the hadith, don't eat until you're full, remember your neighbor, look at those who don't have. When all of that is taken into account, what happens to your eating? It becomes a massive act of worship. 